Traffic along Thika Road on Friday grounded to a halt as hundreds of students from Jikot University took to the streets protesting the death of fellow student Denzel Omandi. <laughs> Armed with placards and banners while chanting justice for Denzel, the students might to the Jija police station in Kembu County in pursuit of justice regarding the death of Omandi. <laughs> The 23-year-old was among the thousands of protesters who stormed Parliament Building on Tuesday, June 25th, during the anti-finance bill demos in Nairobi, with family and friends revealing that that was the last time he was seen alive. After Denzel was found, comrades were there. I personally was there. And they were telling us, we step aside, we can't take photos, we can't see the body. How? And then taking him to Thika. And then to give Thika, Thika pale to Nambiwa to Ezingia Kumwana. Why? After sharing a video of himself within the precincts of parliament buildings on the day it was set alight, Omondi was reported missing on June 27th and after days of uncertainty and frantic searching by his family, his body was discovered on July 6th floating lifelessly in a deserted quarry in Georgia. An autopsy conducted after the discovery found that Omondi had drowned. However, unsettling findings raised serious questions. Bruises on his head and legs suggested foul play, casting a dark cloud over the official explanation. I want to know what is the status of inquiry of his, of, of his murder inquiry? Because clearly we are seeing an opaqueness in the way these invest, charm investigations are being conducted. His family and human rights advocates family reject the autopsy results, insisting he was murdered. Investigators and the Independent Policing Oversight Authority, IPOA, are still investigating the circumstances surrounding Amondi's death, but have not yet provided a conclusive explanation. Election Odera, K24 TV.